Hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. God bless you. Thank you for joining me for the prayer therapy session for today. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of you who are joining us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're still not joining us, what in the world are you still waiting for? Come on, come join us on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave the information on the screen here. The link will be in the description box down below the title of the video. Also want to thank all of you who joined me for the marriage and relationship boot camp prayer meeting last week, Friday. I'm grateful for every single one of you. I appreciate you. I know we had a little glitch uh, towards the end uh, there, but we'll pick up from there next time, which will be on the 2nd of June, which is next week uh friday yes next week friday uh the 2nd of june at 3 p.m eastern standard time live right here on youtube and don't forget to join me this week friday the 26th of may at 3 p.m eastern standard time live right here on youtube for what a women of valor prayer conference you do not want to miss it listen you cannot pray too much there's no such thing as praying too much <laughs> jesus said men are always to pray and not to faint and what better way to keep your prayer life on fire to stay on fire for jesus by being in the company of people who are like-minded people who are seeking after god people who are praying and now uh, having their prayers answered so come join me i know as you join your your lives will be transformed you'll be healed delivered and set free in the name of jesus and if you missed uh the last um marriage and relationship boot camp on friday you can watch the replay i indulge you to watch the replay by the mercies of God, I need every single one of you to go and watch that because I believe that that is a word in season for a lot of people uh, that didn't make it to the live or didn't think they needed it. But I'm telling you, God has brought answers to your prayers. If you don't go and obey and watch and listen and join the lives, you'll be praying and you'll be thinking God isn't answering you, but he already answered it 10 videos ago. <laughs> Just listen to that. You will catch a lot of revelation by the grace of God. So again, I want to thank and appreciate every single one of you. And thank you to all of you who are sowing into the ministry. I am grateful. I don't talk a lot about sowing because you already know. Um, I, I just, I trust God to lead those who he wants to give, to give. I know some of you, God is leading you to give and you're being, you're not giving that's fine. I will leave you to him, but I'm not going to come on here and talk about seeds all the time. I do feel sometimes I'm doing, you know, the people of God a disservice, but I trust God to put it in your heart to give. So all of you who are sowing, who are being generous to this ministry, who are supporting this ministry, however you are able to, even if it's through your prayers and your kind words and your words of encouragement, I appreciate every single one of you. God bless you so, so much in the name of Jesus. Now let's go to the prayer therapy session for today. I brought you a powerful prophetic prayer for supernatural breakthrough. And we're going to get started going into the book of Acts of Apostles chapter 9 from verse 36. The Bible says there was a believer in Joppa named uh, Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. About this time, she became ill and died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in an upstairs room. They had given up hope. Mm. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby at Lydda, so they sent two men to beg him, please come as soon as possible. They told him, come, we have an emergency. Emergency. Uh, somebody very important, very crucial to the community, be it someone who was a woman of God is dead. And so Peter, the Bible says Peter returned with them as soon as he arrived. 
They took him to the upstairs room where they had already prepared her body to be buried. The room was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and other clothes that Dorcas had made for them. But Peter asked them all to leave the room. Then he knelt and prayed, turning to the body, he said, get up. Tabitha, and she opened her eyes when he saw when she saw Peter she sat up my god he gave her his hand and helped her up then he called in the widows and all the believers and he presented her to them alive they had to be believers around they were people who believed that she could be raised from the dead and God honored their faith the Bible says the news spread through the old town and many believed in the Lord and Peter stayed a long time in Joppa living with Simon, a Tana of, of Heidi's. Hallelujah. And the session has begun. I really believe uh, that God is calling many of us to selflessness. If you watch the previous prayer therapy session, you will know that he's calling us to selflessness in this season. The Bible says Dorcas was a giver. And when she died, God remembered her good deed. The people around her remembered her good deed. And the tears of the widows that she had helped when she was alive these widows said that their tears went up to God and they said if someone should die it should not be Tabitha mm -mm. they refused to let her just go like that and they summoned Peter to consult with God to raise Dorcas's dead body and God agreed Ayah. God agreed the question that the Lord has had me to come pose to you today is what are you doing for the sake of the name of the Lord because God took glory out of this situation God took glory because there were people who believed that God could do anything who believed in miracle who believed there were believers the Bible says and so who is sending prayers to heaven concerning you when they think of you uh, where is your area of impact where is your area of influence you have to discover that and begin to walk in that because God is calling us to a higher level of selflessness because it matters to him yes it matters to him not just so you can go and flaunt and, and, and shout on the rooftop of what you're doing, but so that God can take glory. Because if you have to, you know, tell it to the whole wide world and, and they got to know that you gave somebody $2 and you got to post it on Facebook, you already got your reward. Ah, uh, yeah, he's speaking to somebody. It's not for your glory, but that he may be glorified. The Bible says when you serve the poor, you never know when you're going to serve angels. Yes. You're not given to somebody just to give to them. You are given to God through them. That's the mindset. Aya. Father, give us grace. Make us more selfless that we may do your bidding in the earth. That we may be a blessing to others who may not be as fortunate as we are. Mm. Help us, Spirit of the living God. In the name of Jesus. We can't do it by ourselves. Our human nature is selfish. And so we need the grace of God. We're going to go into prayer now. I want, you know, I, if you haven't seen the uh, prophetic word from Sunday, you need to watch it after this one. I know it's going to bless you. That prophetic word is going to bless you. And today I've come, even by the Spirit of God, again, we are praying. This is a, a powerful prophetic prayer for supernatural breakthrough. And Father, we thank you. We give you praise for this prayer therapy session. Thank you for bringing us together once again. Thank you for everyone who will come across this video. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. The Bible says it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God who showeth mercy. Thank you for showing us mercy. And we never take for granted when you give us an opportunity to come before you once again. And as we have come, we ask the forgiveness of every sin that may be an hindrance to our prayers. Oh, will you forgive us, God, by the real reason of the blood of the Lamb of God. Forgive us, cleanse us, purify us, sanctify us, soul, body, and spirit. 
Fill us with your Holy Spirit anew in the name of Jesus. And I prophesy over your people today in the name of Jesus. I prophesy over you that the God of breakthrough will give you breakthrough in every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare over you, may the Lord come through for you in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. May you step into mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you for even the fire and the and the power and the grace to pray your way into your breakthrough, to fast your way into your breakthrough, to seek the Lord with all of your heart and break into your breakthrough. May that grace come upon you now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord take away your shame and reproach in the mighty name of Jesus. In Esther chapter 6, the Bible says on a particular night, Sleep escaped King Gehazarus and he was unable to sleep because God took sleep from his eyes and he found himself opening the book of record and suddenly he saw that Mordecai had practically saved his life in the past but Mordecai was never rewarded because there were men like Haman and Memukan who prevented Mordecai's breakthrough, who prevented Mordecai's advancement, who was trying to prevent Mordecai's blessing and promotion motion. They prevented him from being recognized for the good deed he had done. I believe that today is today that the Lord is remembering you. That the Lord is opening the book of remembrance over you like Mordecai and like Dorcas. Your good deed is being remembered. Your gift given is being remembered. Your service is being remembered. Your endurance is being remembered. Your sacrifices and labor of love in the house of God for the people of God is being remembered. Your acts of kindness is being remembered. Your seed sowing and many seasons of obedience is being remembered by the Lord today. Today is your day and the Lord is remembering you to reward you with a mighty breakthrough in the name of Jesus. If there be anyone, anyone born of a woman blocking your breakthrough, preventing you from being promoted to your rightful place, place and destiny. Let the judgment of God come upon them in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, if there be anyone born of a woman, partnering with demons to block your breakthrough, preventing you from being promoted and advanced to your rightful place, even in life, in destiny, in ministry, in your career, in your business, let the judgment of God come upon them now in the name of Jesus. Anyone, anyone one born of a woman who is standing as an altar or partnering with demons to prevent your breakthrough. May the fire of God come upon them and consume them in the name of Jesus. And if there be any area of your life where it seems as though there's been one roadblock after another, may the Lord bulldoze every roadblock away from your path in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes. He has the power to do so. He has the power to bulldoze doors away every roadblock. He has the power to make them vanish for you to be able to go into what he has ordained you to go into, to be able to go and move in the divine direction for your life. I decree and declare over you today, may the Lord turn your breakdown to breakthrough in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your shame to fame in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your trials to triumph in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your, your, your sour story to glory in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your sad story to glory in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your test to testimonies in the name of Jesus. May the Lord turn your tears of sorrow to tears of joy in the name of Jesus. May the Lord change your song from tragedy and trauma songs to the songs of breakthrough and restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. And as we have spoken, even in God's ears, so shall he do in the mighty name of Jesus and may even do exceeding abundantly above all that we could pray for, above all that we could ask for 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We give you praise for mighty breakthroughs now. We give you praise even for having answered us. For you are the God who answers by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. If this uh, prayer therapy session has blessed you, make sure that you subscribe. I don't understand why you're coming and watching the video, getting the blessing, and you're not subscribing. Come on. <laughs> Press the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, and also give the video a thumbs up so that it can get momentum on YouTube so other people can get see the video and watch it and be blessed. Also, make sure you leave me your comments if you would like to do so. Share this with your friends, your family members, even your frenemies so that they can leave you alone. And don't forget to join us on the prayer line on Tuesdays and Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Another one is tomorrow. And don't forget to join me this week, Friday. For the Women of Valor Prayer Conference, live right here on YouTube at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time Live. I hope to see you there. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a blessed rest.